quite often we are mixing different stakeholder groups and thinking that consumer groups and patient organizations are the same and they are not because they have different objectives and they have different opinions also on priorities. I think all of them need to be involved because of course payers um, have, a, have an interest uh, in the budgets, patients have an interest in survival and in quality of life and in well-being of citizens, but only probably they are representing mostly those that have the problem of not being healthy. Uh, so they might have a different perspective than the general population. So yes, I think all citizens need to be involved and all different stakeholder groups need to be involved. I think the societal impact is honestly so important. In the United Kingdom, we're an aging population. We're an infertile population. We have the worst sexual health across Europe because of a teenage pregnancies. We're still smoking, still taking drugs. Now we've added alcohol and obesity. And as Mike Rawlins would tell me, that's 60% of the NHS budget gone. And that's before you've got a disease on the table. So you have to understand the perspective of where your, your patient association is coming from. Because when you're working with the people living with these illnesses, you do think that that's the most important, the most central thing. But actually, it's all part of society. And we have got to pay a certain attention to our own lifestyles. This is something that I posey have been talking about for five years, you know, in every single event and, and report and consultation we've been involved in with the HTA agencies here. We've asked them to start to consider the cost to the state of not treating someone. And, and that includes if there's a carer in the home who's looking after a patient who will no longer need to look after the patient if they have access to the, to the right treatment, that carer can go back into the workforce and pay tax. That's, that's money back into the system. And certainly in Ireland, that hasn't been really factored um, in from our perspective, from a patient perspective. We don't feel that that's really factored in in the process.